So dad, we're in front of, I know the original house isn't here, but we're in front of the property where Aunt Nola, your oldest uh, sister was born. Yes, in 1921. She was born here in the home of my grandpa, John Mann and Emma Mann. And uh, the buildings, uh, there aren't any original buildings left here at all. But this farm, this is the west side of it, and a lot of this land to the west belongs to this farm. You're pointing, you're pointing east, I think. Or east, yeah, I'm right. sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. East. Uh, Alan looked it up uh, back on the records on Monona County, and he, he knows exactly the outline of that farm back in those days. He'd be a good one to talk to about it. Well, I, I got an 1875 map of Monona County that shows John John T. Okay. Mann's property. All too. right. Okay. Then it would show the boundaries of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's move on down to uh, where we think Tom, John John T.'s father, Richard Montgomery Mann, settled. Where we think that property is. Well, along best, here somewhere. Best guess, right? It'd be on this road. I I really don't know. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, well, where isn't wasn't it, your dad born on this road? Somewhere? Yes. Well, my dad would have born here too. On, on the same, right here on this farm, right here. Right here, same place. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously, right. John, John, and Emma. Mm -hmm. Right. This is where your dad was born. It wasn't in no hospitals back in them days, was it? No, no. no. So here's my dad and I again. So dad. Uh, Right off my left shoulder here, on the other side of the road, is uh, nothing but a cornfield, but this is where there used to be buildings, and uh, my Aunt Norma was born, correct? Yes. So tell me a little bit about this place when well, you guys moved here. And <clears throat> well, this is called uh, Silsby Place, I think. What's it called? Silsby, I think, but uh, sometimes I get that wrong. Ronnie will correct us. We can make a correction. They have to, but this is where Norma was born. Right out here in this cornfield. Yep, in 1923. And uh, you said, I'm just going to pan up here, you might not be able to see it, but right up the hill here, cluster of trees is it's right next to the Negro Cemetery in Monona County. Hello, this is my father, approaching 85 years old, Dwayne Mann. It's Saturday, December the 13th, 2014. And we were at the uh, home where the, the place where my uncle Lorne, my dad's older brother, was born. So, would dad, tell me a little bit about this place. This is the uh, Oscar Lewis place. And uh, we moved here. Lorne was born here in 1925. And uh, we must have lived here. Uh, Couple, a couple of years anyhow, because Viola is, was born in 27 and she was born in a different place. And um, the house you set right here, uh, and then there were a lot of buildings down below, down here. It's pretty rugged. The road used to go on through. There was a bridge here when I was a kid. Um, we used to put a, Glenn Oliver put hay up down over that hill and I used to pull a, help pull the hay up with a John Deere tractor hooked to the tongue of the hay rack with the team still hooked because it was a, it's really steep. And so this, but this road's been closed and these buildings have been gone for uh, probably 30 years. Very good. Thanks, Dad. We're in front of the 40, so tell me a little bit about this place. This is the 40. This is, Dad bought this in sometime in the early 20s because uh, uh, after they lived out, Lauren was born, we moved over here. Viola was born here in 1927. Seven. So they had to be here in 27. And then they come along the Depression in 29, Dad lost this. And we had to move off of this, and that's when we moved to the old town of Moorhead, and uh, and I was born. So, Dad, here we're just a bit, just a bit north of the old forty. Yeah, yeah, quarter the, mile. At, at the old Shear place, and yeah. and I'm taking a picture of this brick wall 
that's in the terrain here, and you said this is in the same picture that that old Jip and Queen, Queen were in. Queen uh, picture was in, oak, right? Oak to the wagon, yeah. yeah. Well, what, what would? And then right above it, you could see right above it. You get in that picture, you could see the wood pile and the barns and buildings that were setting up in here. And uh, our mailbox used to be right back here on the corner. And uh, I I don't know who took that picture, but Dad apparently had stopped here. And somebody took it because we didn't have a camera at that time. And uh, uh, I've seen that picture several times, and Viola uh, had never seen it, she said. So I don't know where it came from. But it was just a little tiny thing, wasn't it? I can't. Uh, yeah, it was just a little tiny mm -hmm. picture. And you blew it up. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, good afternoon. I'm here with my father, Dwayne Mann. Father's Day 2015. That house right behind me just off his uh, left shoulder, not the house he was born in, but the site that that house is sitting on where my dad was born on February 8th, 1931. Right. Hadn't been for my great grandmother nursing this little sucker with goat's milk, um, I wouldn't be here doing this video today. Isn't that right, Dad? That's the truth. Yep. <laughs> So happy yep. Father's Day. Yep. Love you a bunch. Love you. Bye. So tell me a little about that house behind you. Well, that the house that's in there now used to be a schoolhouse that was east of Pisgah, about six, seven miles. I went to eighth grade in that building in a country school. My youngest sister, Shirley, went to school there three years at that in that schoolhouse. And this I don't remember this fellow's name, but he moved that schoolhouse over here and then remodeled it, put it on this lot, remodeled yep. it, made it into a home. Yeah. So we're we're uh, in the old town of Moorhead. We're in the old town of Moorhead. Yes. Yep. Eight, and if I, uh, 1867 is when it was founded. I think so. 1867. Up there around the corner. Well, if I just bend a little bit to my left here, for you folks there, this house that's uh, right there. Yeah, right there okay. is uh, where my uh, my great grandmother uh, Annie Perrin lived and was living when my daddy was uh, born here in this house, or at least where this the house right. used to set there. Yep. And uh, my mother. This direction, been... she walked up way up that road for I don't know how many miles to get that goat's milk and brought it back yep. and uh, stuck it in a bottle and stuck the bottle in my daddy's mouth. I was allergic to my mother's milk. I was allergic to cow's milk. And the doctor had told dad that he'd done everything he could. And my mother had pneumonia and was really ill. And so my grandmother, after they said I wasn't going to live, came across the street, got me, took me back to her house, told my Aunt Lily to watch me. She took a half gallon syrup can and walked up the the up that road yep the jordan there and at some place somebody owned goats and she came home with goat's milk fed me the goat's milk i didn't throw up any of it then it started looked like gray concrete and then it started turning pink little by little of course that story was handed down to you because you probably had no clue what it looked like at that time when your dad told me about uh, that gotcha. yeah yeah, yeah. Kind of like a runt pig story, right? You, you yeah. a runt pig and have to put yeah, him out of his misery? I was a little more than a runt because I was 26 inches long oh, wow. when I was born. I weighed 10 pounds. Well, you should have been all right. Well, I was allergic to, I was, had an allergy to my mother's milk and cow's milk. Couldn't keep nothing down. I just well, threw it up. I, I guess I'm kind of glad you made it. So, <laughs> happy Father's Day, Dad. Well, I got five other ones that's happy, too. Yeah, we'll talk to them later. Okay. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. I was born there in the old town of Moorhead, and then this place was empty and vacant. Nobody, they couldn't market it, the banker and so forth. So the banker told Dad to take his kids and go back here and keep the house up and, and, and stay here till he could get his feet on the ground. He came back here, and Shirley was born here, too, also. Okay. And the house used to set right where that pickup setting. Let me pan over there. And it faced north. 
So face the direction the pickup is facing. The the front of the house faced to south. Okay. Yeah. And then the built the barn the barn set back behind his garage and the chicken house. I don't know whether that's still there or not. I don't up, think so. Up behind the current house? It was up there to the left by that wall, that tree yep. up there in the corner. It's, that's still there. That yeah. was there when we were here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, so here we are at the place where my uncle Ronnie was born, Dad, mm -hmm. right? Right. Tell this me. would have been in 42. It was born here. This was called the Vredenburg place. How do you spell Vredenburg? B R E D E N B U R G. U R G, not E R G, right? I think you're right. It's U R G. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So just Ronnie was born here, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And this was was Grandpa farming land here, or was he in between Actually, farms? Actually, he worked for uh, Roy Greenberg, who lived over the hill. And this was all Roy's Roy's land from here on over the hill and so forth. And he he worked for him as a hired man, uh, planted corn, cultivated corn, picked corn, uh, built hog houses, uh, fixed fence, and 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 Roy let Dad have this piece of ground. This creek runs down through here, and what lays to the northwest of that up here in this corner, uh, that he let Dad have for pasture for his cows and these horses, and it wasn't enough to sustain them because we had some sheep when we lived here also and, and uh, they, this there were I loved this place but there was a portion of this place that was hell and that was that we had to let the cows out and we had to graze them up and down this road for grass and you had to be out here with them because they'd get spread out or get lost you know so you had and to do that because your pasture by the hours uh, you become yet yeah, you'd be out here six hours, seven hours, gr watching cows eat grass on here. But was that because the pasture just wasn't yielding enough? It wasn't, wasn't, wasn't big enough for the. He had like seven, eight cows here, you know, and that was a big, good cream check. And uh, um, and we had at least one team, and maybe I think one time we had two teams here, and we had a bunch of sheep. The sheep, he fenced and let them. They fed down along the creek. Of course, they'd eat tree leaves and everything else. But I hated it. And then we had to pump water by hand here. Shirley and I was a was a pump for those all those cattle and everything. And that is a tick forever. So we you talk about summers of work. It was really work. Mm -hmm. And old Roy Greenberg, because I, I always look back more now than I ever did, but was a soft-hearted guy. I know that he th he he was concerned about that because he came home one night in a school bus. The school bus stopped here and get out, and there was some guys down here digging some deals and putting some concrete blocks in. And four or five days later, when we come home from school, they had a windmill up there, and he put a windmill in here to pump that water. For your dad. For your for Shirley and I, for Shirley. take that off our backs, and uh, you don't see that kind of generosity these days, do you? No, no, no. Right? Mm -mm. Taking care of your neighbor. No way. No, and and it didn't it didn't hurt us. It's just that you get awful weary and tired of it. You know, yeah. I hated that spending all that time out there with those cows. Just so boring. You know, jeez. Yeah, but looking back, you wouldn't mind spending another six hours with them, would you? No, it'd be different. It'd be different. <laughs> that barn, by all of it, when we lived here, that barn was in pretty good shape. And uh, if you didn't have those barn doors hooked up, uh, Viola would just raise cane. You get down there, you aren't going to get to eat supper until you go down and hook those barn doors up. You know, <laughs> he left one of them loose. Because the animals get out? or No, it just didn't look good. just didn't look good. <laughs> I used to trap rats in that corn crib. They put metal over that. that you know, there's a greenery on this one corner. Yeah. And the rest of it had slats. And I used to put traps up at the top of that and catch some big rats. All right, Dad, let's move on to okay. next place, all right? Yeah. Okay, Dad, so we're in Pisgah 
front of the house that my uncle Gerald was born in, Uncle Jerry. Jerry, yeah, he was born here in, let's see, 1943. 1943, I say 43, yeah. Ronnie was born in 42, he was born in 43. How long did you guys live here. How, well, how long did Grandma and Grandpa live here? We lived here one year. One year. Yep. And he That's was between uh, farming? Yes. Between farms. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, Dad, tell me about this blue house off here to my left. Well, it's blue house. It was always known as Doc Cook's house. It was a doctor who lived there, but my mother and her mother and sister lived in that and rented that for a period of time. Uh, they lived actually in three places here in town and that was one of them. And then it would have been, uh, she would have been 14 so that would have been uh, about 1917 or 18. Okay. That's when the, in that period of time when they were writing all the letters back and forth to Johnny and Tommy who were uh, in the, over in France. World War One. So Aunt, so Annie was alive, but but John Parent had died at this time, right? Her dad. Uh, yes. Your grandpa. Yeah. John Parent died when my mother was five. So about 1908. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have all that we have all that factual information at home, right. but roughly 1908. Okay. That's very interesting. I often. I often thought that you said Aunt Nola was born there, but I must, no, must have no, been confused. No, no. Okay. That's the house you were thinking of. Right? That was the house I was thinking of. Okay. Yeah. All right, let me let move on here. Hello, this is Brian Mann again with my father, Dwayne Mann. Saturday, December 13th, 2014. We're at the, I believe, the Rogers place, correct, Dad? Yes, this is the Rogers place. So tell me a little bit about this place. Well, this is a farm that we, my folks rented her when I was in uh, eighth grade through so, for, uh, sophomore in high school, at least three years and maybe four. And uh, we farmed this basically uh, with horses and a uh, 1020 international tractor. Uh, this would have been uh, back uh, about 1943, uh, 44, during World War II, and uh, its growth of timber and everything has grown up tremendously since I was uh, here. In fact, that was all timbered off at one time. This big old cottonwood tree, though, in front of us, you say that? That was here. I was down in, that was in the lower southwest corner of the barnyard. The barn used to sit right here, a corn crib, right, right, right there. And then the well was straight back to the east. There was a hog house on further back to the east. And a chicken house back there, and then the house that back up to the north uh, on, a, on, a, on a ledge. And um, it was a pretty good sized farmstead. This is where I lived when I rode the horse in the barn. Uh, cracked your head on the rafters? Cracked my head on the rafters in the dark and knocked me cold. So what lesson did you learn from that? Well, uh, don't gallop your horse up to the barn in the dark, <laughs> especially if your dad's around because he uh, opened the barn door and it I had, should have been closed. He had opened and left it open and the horse just went right on in the barn. So were any of your brothers and sisters born here? No. Okay. No. But Go this ahead. was, um, Ron, Ronnie was uh, alive here. But just barely, right? Yes. Well, yeah, he was, this is the place where he got lost oh. when he was two and a half. And from this house, we hunted for him, and I found him on the other side of this hill. On the other side of this hill, way down by the ditch. With the cows, right? Uh, no, with a dog. With a dog? With, with a dog. <laughs> and he was just, in a, all he had on was a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> He's out there with his dog. That's funny. God, we had the whole neighborhood hunting for him. 
wasn't much of the neighborhood. I mean, there's people yeah. who were like living right next door to you out here, yeah. were they? Well, the Oliver's right down right here. On the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this cornfield here, uh, Dad got me out of bed one night and, and said, the uh, horses are out. And I was sleeping in my shorts and I didn't bother to put any clothes on at all. And I come out here and I chase these horses in this corn in the summertime. And got a man, I came in the house and I was just cut from one end to the other. How high was the corn? At that time? Way above my head. Oh it was my. Uh, running, running down the rows and that corn was just cutting the living heck out of me. Mom, she took the alcohol and bathed my body with that to get it all healed up. It was kind of stupid. <laughs> All right, let's move on to another place, all right? Okay. You were at uh, the 80, right? The 80, yes, yeah. So tell me about this place. Well, we moved here. This belonged to an old family by the name of Pitt. But Dad bought this this 80 acres for $3,200. He actually bought it, wasn't renting it? Yeah, he bought this. Was this the first, 30, first place you ever bought? No, he bought that 40 up there. Okay. And lost that in the latter part of the 20s in the Depression. And I have the, um, I have a copy of the uh, deeds for this and and the deed for the uh, 40 up there. So I, I've got to give those to you. So uh, so who, who was born here? No, nobody was born here. Okay. Uh, we moved here when I was a junior in high school and a, uh, and a senior and I graduated and I left here. Uh, went to work uh, for grocery store and left and worked for a farmer up uh, by Lawton in Mobile. Northwest uh, Iowa. Northwest Iowa. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, uh, then that would have been in 1950. No, in 19, that would have been the summer of 49 and through, uh, and through the 50 and up until September the 50 and then that's when I joined the Navy on the September the 20, 27th 1950. So th this was the same time that that classic picture was taken of your mom and dad and all you kids were you know Ronnie uh, and Jerry on both ends yes right yep. you were living here yes. when that picture was taken. yes absolutely where, where was that picture taken at? Taken in Sioux City at Janelli's studio. What whose studio? Uh, Janelli. Janelli studio. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was quite a trip to go along. We had car. we had to get uh, we had uh, Nola and Leo had a car. We had Dad had a car then. We had a thirty six Ford car at that time, uh, and then uh, I'm think Norman and Lee were living up there, and but Leo had a car and we had a car. Hauled so every we, hauled everybody up there. We huh? bunched everybody up. And and had an appointment and went up and got that taken just about a month before I went in the Navy. That's such a classic picture. I was noticing it the other day of the symmetry of how your head and Uncle Lorne's head are in respect to Aunt Shirley mm -hmm. and, and Aunt Nola behind uh, behind you guys in terms of it's pretty pretty neat how yeah and how the somebody, resemblance of, of yeah. some, and the kids yeah it's it's a it is a classic picture and then we have that very same setting taken like four different times in our lifetimes uh-huh uh, i have copies of those yeah and uh, i don't much like but, the last one you guys took. well the last one was awful that was not yeah. too long before dad died yeah. but uh Mom was on the family picture before I went to the Navy because she she was worried I was going to get killed. Well, as you and I talked, you worried you might yeah, catch only, something else. The only way I was going to get killed is get well, I shouldn't Sa talk about it. Get samurai by that? No, little... that's either the samurai sword or get suffocated by some Japanese girl. <laughs> oh, what a way to go! <laughs> Oh. I liked him. I'm sure you did. <laughs>